Hi everyone, today I've got a daytime Asian bridal makeup tutorial for you guys. This is perfect for those of you that want to look like a bride but don't like that heavy makeup feel. So let's get right into it. I've started by priming the eyes so that the eyeshadow lasts all day and also to get rid of any discoloration on the eyelids. Now using a red eyeshadow in the crease of the eye and blending it really well with a fluffy sort of brush. All the products I use will be listed in the description below but most eyeshadows in this video are from Artist of Makeup and the rest are from Urban Decay. I'm using a black eyeshadow to add depth to the eye. This is what's going to make the eye all smoky. I'm blending then reapplying, then blending and reapplying, blending and reapplying. You get the point. This is to build up the colour as I want it to be really dark. I find that the MAC 217 brush works really well when it comes to blending. I'm putting the black eyeshadow just on the outer corners of the eye, staying underneath the crease. But when I blend I go all the way up to the red eyeshadow so that it all merges together. As you can see I lift the eyebrow up when blending. This makes it easier to blend by flattening the eyelid. I'm now using a shimmery deep red eyeshadow in the centre of the eyelid and then a golden eyeshadow on the inner part of the lid. Then I'm blending all of these with each other for a smooth transition. Also whenever I use a golden shadow I use a bronze to act as a transition colour into the black. So this is me making a smooth transition out of those two. This is just me deepening the black even more and spreading it into a winged shape. I'm now highlighting the brow bone with a light shimmery eyeshadow. Once again, all the products will be listed in the description tab below. And then blending one last time so that there are no harsh transitions. I'm using a bronze shadow on the bottom outer end of the eye and then cleaning up any fallout with the makeup remover. This is also a good time to neaten up the eyeshadow without using the tape method. I've used a black gel eyeliner to line the top lash line in a winged shape and while that dries I fill in the eyebrows. I'm now joining the wing to the lower lash line with the same gel eyeliner and a really thin brush for precision. And then using a black eye pencil for the waterline. Then curling the eyelashes before applying mascara. I've applied false eyelashes off camera and now just covering up the glue. I'm using a peach correcting concealer for the under eye dark circles and also around the mouth and nose area. And then a liquid foundation appropriate for the daytime so that it doesn't feel or look cakey. I use a smaller brush to get into areas like under the eyes, upper lip, nose, in between eyebrows and temples. Contouring the cheekbones and the jawline using a dark contouring powder on an angled brush. I'm not going too heavy with this as it's a daytime wedding and I still want it to look somewhat natural. And then using a reddish shimmery blush to add colour to the face and a highlighter on the high points of the cheeks and bridge of the nose. 
I filled the lips in with a red lip liner which will help the lipstick stay on for longer. And here's the final look. I think it's a nice amount of makeup for an Asian bridal look especially for those that hardly ever wear makeup and want to stay away from that typical heavy look. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd also like suggestions from you guys as to how I can improve my videos. And I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded in so long. Please bear with me. I will definitely try to upload more frequently. Thank you so much for watching.